friends, it's Carla from Creative Love Affair and I'm here today with the Tattered Angels YouTube channel and I am featuring the High Impact Paints from Tattered Angels. They have a wide range of colors in these beautiful uh, high impact paints. They are described as being uh, an acrylic paint on steroids. So they really are amazing, they're vibrant, there's lots of different colors. You can mix them, they blend beautifully. Uh, you can apply them to canvas and burlap and plastic, glass. Uh, they are water-based paint, but they are permanent when they dry and they're just really beautiful to work with. Um, so I'm going to show you several different ways to work with these uh, paints today. We have some canvas, we've got wood, some frames, um, I've grabbed a bunch of stencils, we're going to play with those, a manila tag, just show you a bunch of backgrounds. Here's a piece of the corrugated cardboard from uh, Canvas Corp, and then we have this fun composition notebook which is great as an art journal and these paints would be wonderful in an art journal. I have the a base from the Seven Gypsies architecture collection and a piece of Canvas Corp printed cardboard and I grabbed this little butterfly because I wanted to test the paint on the wings. So we're starting out with a beautiful piece of burlap and I'm going to list the colors below that I used. I'm just layering a stencil on uh, top of the burlap and I have a little uh, sponge with a handle. You can see how really nice and vibrant it is. Now I'm laying a, uh, another stencil over top of that butterfly in a yellow and I didn't show you, but I stenciled in the green vine behind. And I wanted to add a little bit of a different color on top as well. So I layered in some light blue of the high impact paint. It's really gorgeous. Um, I framed it here and you can see how the colors pop and the layers of colors um, really stand out. We've got a piece of uh, wood veneer and I'm going to paint it black. So I've just grabbed a paintbrush and I'm rubbing the paint, just uh, painting directly over that wood veneer and the edges. It goes on beautifully. The coverage is really, really nice. I give it a dry with the heat gun and grab some silver metallic high impact paint and I'm just painting the uh, bottom part of the wood veneer so that the word is in silver below it. I'm adding two colors or two layers of the silver on top of the black and you can see how beautiful and shiny that is. Now we've got a piece of that corrugated cardboard and some white high impact paint and I'm just taking a dry brush method and just giving it a quick brush over to give it a little bit of color. I don't want to cover up all that black and now I have a tag, manila tag and a stencil and some of the craft high impact paint and I'm just again using that sponge tool and dipping it in and dabbing it on the back. Now this tag shows you that you can also use this paint as a resist. So you put it on your stencil and give it a quick dry and then we're going to add some Tattered Angels mists to this and it is actually going to resist the mists. So we've got some blues and a green here and just some really beautiful colors. That was Rolling Tide and Tangy Lime and this is Sapphire which is gorgeous. So I just spray it on. I gave it a little rub with a paper towel to take off the excess. I dabbed it in some of the extra um, mist around and I'm just 
adding a little bit of water and dabbing lightly over that uh, area that we stenciled and you can see how well it resists the mist. Now here is uh, one of the beautiful bases. This one is the doilies from the Seven Gypsies Architectures collection. Um, they're a wonderful sticker. There's so many different kinds and uh, I've cut a piece of this one off and I'm adding the rose gold uh, high impact paint. It's one of the metallics and it's really gorgeous. So I add two layers of the rose gold and just brush it lightly and just add a little bit of that gold to the um, corrugated cardboard. So I'm just going to put together quickly these elements and make a really beautiful tag that you could attach to a gift. And I'm just gluing down some lace and then the corrugated cardboard and I'm going to cut this gorgeous sticker in half and layer it on the tag. Then I'm gluing on the wood veneer and a pretty flower and I'm going to add a little bit of that silver to the edges of the flower just to add a little bit of some glimmer. So this is really pretty. I add a little bit of gold ribbon and you can just see how those paints and uh, mists just make this tag. I really love that silver on the wood veneer. It's so beautiful. So here's the rose gold again. I'm going to paint this black frame and I'm not going for a completely opaque look. I think you could probably add a primer and add the rose gold if you really wanted a completely opaque look, but I really like the vintage look of this. I've done two layers of the rose gold and you can see how really beautiful it is. A little bit of the black peeks through and I've added some Seven Gypsies Wanderlust paper inside that frame. Here we've got a canvas bag and it's a zipper pouch and I want to show you how easily the paints blend. So I've added the green, the yellow and the white together to make a bit of a spring green color. You can mix and match your colors and you just have endless um, choices. You can see how beautifully that stencils on there. I put a piece of cardboard just inside in uh, between the layers so that nothing went through. And I'm really loving this composition notebook. Um, so I decided to use the stencil while I still had some paint and you can water down the paint and I added that stencil right on, closed the page, and then I have the painted image and then a second generation effect. Now I'm going to add some flowers and I wanted a lighter red so I added the red and the white and stenciled on two flowers and really love how this turned out. This I've got some pencils in here and I added some buttons and uh, I know this will be a nice little gift for my daughter. She loves to store her colored pencils and markers. So again, I just spritz the water onto the leftover paint to water it down. I'm adding the stencil again in the same color, closing the page and opening it to have both sides. Just a really pretty effect. I can't wait to use that composition notebook more. Now I'm showing you that we can water down the paints um, to paint on the printed cardboard, which is a really cool um, item. It's from Canvas Corp. And I even added a little bit of iridescent gold glimmer mist in there. And I'm just really quickly painting on um, this. These cardboard bases are just beautiful. So this gives you some options for doing some watercoloring type effects and I just, I really love the soft look of this once you add the water to it. So you can see how pretty that is. There's lots of options with these paints. Uh, here's a look at just brushing on the watered down paint really lightly to give you that 
background on your art journal pages and you could as well do these as a card front or on scrapbook pages that would look great as well and layer a photo on there even in traveler's notebooks would be really cool and then we are going to pull out this cute little butterfly and I just wanted to add some elements to uh, his wings that are metal I didn't want to fully paint them because I like the rusted look um, but I'm just showing you how beautiful the paints go on metal and how they pop. They really are pretty. So this dried really quickly and just added some fun elements to this pretty butterfly. I hope you've enjoyed all the projects and we'd love for you to stop by the shop, like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye bye.